engine looked like it was supposed to power the lift. It was an old electricity generator. It was a length of strong rope. It was an old The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. Too late. I had been seen. Bonjour, Capitaine. <laughs> Only Sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? Uh... Snuggles said I could come here with him. Snuggles? Oh, I mean the General. We are, uh, friends. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please. I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what. I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. Uh, no. It's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in their stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run along and play around here, okay? Okay, you do that. I have an important job for you. Take this rope to the top of this scaffold and throw it over the top. Oh. How did you hook up with a maniac like Karzak in the first place? Karzak? Whoop whoop loco! Yes, he scares me too. Would you like some chocolate, Titi Poco? It's good vintage. <laughs> You're smarter than you look.
The cap was attached to the lift engine by a chain. The engine looked like it was supposed to power the lift. motor spluttered into life. Titi Poco, when I tell you, I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy. Okay? Copy! George! I realized those bastards were going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca over my dead body. Thankfully, George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon and Karzak will be close behind. Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. The maniacs were going to sacrifice Georges. Shut up, Stobart. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, Raoul. Why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobart. I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzak cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. Hey, Raoul? I'm warning you! Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped Georges wouldn't push him too far. General Raoul Graziento. I didn't fancy Raoul's chances once Karzak didn't need him anymore. If Pablo had seen me, he'd have killed me. It was as simple as that. Karzak's goons had left an ammunition belt lying around. Those jackals weren't going to let me past.
It looked like Karzak was using Quaramontean troops and local Indians as his guards. It looked like Karzak was using Quaramontean troops and local Indians as his guards. Those jackals. that lighter gun you pull on me so amusingly. What's going on over there? You need help, my pretty? Nothing's wrong. I dropped uh, a cigarette, but everything is under control. I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Give it up. The pyramid's surrounded. I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch Dober doesn't pull any tricks. If he does, shoot him in the head, not through the heart. Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. There was a pair of pots from which columns of smoke arose. There were a few sealed crates and drums. None of them looked like they might be useful. General Raul Graziento. I didn't fancy Raul's chances once Karzak didn't need him anymore. the gun or I shoot. Please, don't hurt me. Don't worry yourself, my finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubie, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubie is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoco. Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. Out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on!
Chile Poco. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck. I hope. You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. Georges? Yeah? There was nothing I wanted to talk to Georges about just then. There was a large image on the wall of a man in ceremonial garb. More usefully, there were also a couple of levers. Oof! The lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway. Still no good. Georges? Yeah? Georges, I can only pull one lever at a time and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. They set him free. I couldn't stop them. You idiot! I should have strangled you at birth. Titipoco's gone soft. He wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this honey is almost upon us, and we have no sacrifice to appease this Catlipoca. Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think so. And I'm glad. What? The Mayans weren't fools. Tezcatlipoca should stay exactly where they put him. Finally got some backbone from somewhere, huh? Shame it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you at Karzak with that devil's power. Fine, we're still a sacrifice show. See, the eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! Tezcatlipoca can feed upon his yellow heart. Nigo was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. What place is this? I was in some sort of strange room. Tiles and dials. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for myself if I ever wanted to get out of here. The room was dominated by an enormous device, decorated with the usual Mayan motifs. It held two great discs, each covered in glyphs. There were several tiles with glyphs on them. There was a statue of a monkey, some sort of religious significance. The monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them.
moved slightly.
The dial didn't want to move. The dial didn't want to move. <coughs> Et voilà, George once told me that there's an act to find in secret doors. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. by solving the glyphs puzzle. So, I thought, this is it, you know? This is true love. Anyway, I have to leave for a few weeks, and when I come back, what do I find? Uh. Damn right. And with who? Labano! That creep! Mmm, huh? Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. Oh, heck. Looks like another dead end, Titty Poco. Any ideas? I was hoping for something a little more constructive. Never mind, I'll have a look around. It was Titty Poco, a new friend and a good listener to boot. There was a torch in a sconce by the doorway. this torch. Can you do something clever with a couple of sticks or a flint and tinder or... Or a cheesy novelty cigarette lighter as it turned out. A really creepy statue. The figure held a skull and a bowl, probably for a heart to go in. Yuck! There was a picture of somebody holding a torch and another guy with a lever. The lever was real. Well, there's nothing else to do around here, so I pulled the lever. Nothing's happened. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? Ah! Did it, Poco? Oh, my... Great. I had no idea where I was, no idea where the others had got to, and time was running out to stop Karzak. Still, I wasn't dead yet, so it wasn't all bad news. The torch didn't look like it was going to burn for much longer.
charming. Lovely. Looks like... This was it. The Pyramid's central chamber. Its dark heart. Once before in my life, I had stood in front of a door and thought, this is it. If I go through there, I'm going to die. I'd been wrong then. I hoped I was wrong now. This was the door that led to the central chamber. And the smoking mirror. <laughs> <laughs> 